Good day, hello to you all. It's Andy at Bill's Lighthouse, and today is going to continue the running train that is the Burning Shadows release. Uh, this is my second box now. Last time we got some pretty nice things in the pack. I don't think I need my knife to have this one. Actually, maybe. Let me just keep it closer. Now, last time we got some pretty, pretty solid cards there. They're just off to the side next to me. This isn't the same day that I'm doing it. This is another day. But I thought, I want another pack of Burning Shadows. Because that was a lot of fun. I say, I mean, with these new cards, the meta is definitely changing, shifting. These new cards are surfacing, new decks are surfacing. All very exciting. Let's. I did uh, the right side last time, didn't I? I'm fairly sure. So I'm going to do the left today. Let me just some of these bits away. Excuse me. Right. There we go. Excuse me, indeed. So we're going to start out with a Fire Energy, Dusclops, Noctowl, Simi Sage, Pansir, Magikarp, Mudbray, Alolan Rattata, Panpour, Reverse Riolu, and Tordinator. Okay. You know, we're just starting fresh, so it's okay. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of cards that are, are going to be quite sought after coming into this new set um, I'm not too sure I'm not too sure really yet what I'm going to be wanting Escape Rope, Rotom Dex Surviper, Tynamo Oddish, Duskull doing a little dab, <laughs> Molol Canopy, Reverse Porygon, very nice and a Porygon Z Hello Baby, you know what they're going to go side and you know where they're going they're going in the book <laughs> I briefly mentioned that last time. Um, I will be showing that off. I, I think it's a, it's starting to come together as quite a nice little collection, nice little binder of things. So I will show that off at some point. Again, not this video because not the time place. Porygon 2. You know what? You can go in there as well. I mean, I've already got loads enough of you anyway, but you can go in there as well. Charmander. Ah, oh, Porygon. Yeah, you're in as well. <laughs> Learn better. Reverse sloking and... A beware! I do like that there are a lot of bewares. I probably would say the best beware. Uh, Guardians Rising, I would say. If I'm being perfectly honest. Guardians Rising, best beware. Allows you to draw three cards when you've evolved it. Darkness Energy, Wishful Baton, Sophilies, Rabombi. That's Rabombulus. Meowth, I don't know, Volpix, Wimpod, Doglamaru, Krogunk, Dupider, and. Wow! Okay, secret rare escape rope. Okay, because of how lovely that is, that's going to go straight into a sleeve. So, kind of like a switch for both teams. It's like a, um, almost like also a Lysander, and I'm going to, in fact going to put it into a top loader. It's like a Lysander for both teams. So, into the top loader. Lovely, excellent. That can go down into a very nice pile. And we will see what else we get. So that's pretty good. A pretty good start. Maybe not the secret rare I was hoping for. But still very nice. Uh, Wobbuffet. Charmeleon. Esper. Sork. Noibat. Stuffle. Very cute. Mudbray. Rabombi. Araquid. Yeah. Araquanade. Araquanid. Araquanid. Whatever. Anyway. It's the water spider. Get that rubbish out of the way. One, two, three. So today, it's been very rainy, and I think there's no better way than to spend a rainy afternoon than opening packs. And hopefully getting some quite nice things. I mean, that escape rope's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Magic up, crow gunk, reverse cosma, and hollow diancy. Very shiny, very nice. So, hang on, how many packs have I done now? A couple. I'm just going to go through what I've got and pick out any any of the nice cards so I can kind of see where and what I've got. I think that's pretty much it, because I picked out that... Uh... Okay, well, Diancy can go there. I've probably missed one. Whichever. Yeah, because you have the Porygon Z. Uh, Escape Probe, Diancy. No, I think that's about right. Yeah, okay, whichever. Alright, okay, Electric Energy, Lana, Surviper, Gloom, 
Horsey, Cutie Fly, Lediba, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Reverse Rhydon, and Azumarill. Okay. That is a regular rare. No hollow on that one either. Grass Energy. Bodybuilding dumbbells. So I was just looking outside the windows. Like I say, it got quite heavy, the rain. Another Porygon. I won't put him into the, the book. Where's he going? In the book. Oddish. Passimian. I did like Passimian in Sun and Moon. He was my... Have I picked one? No, I picked two. Oh, one back here. Yeah, he was part of my team. I can't remember what we called him now. Some silly name. No, he was quite good. I liked him. As soon as I saw him, I thought, I like that one. I preferred him to a Rangaroo, anyway, of the... The Monkeys, Tormenting Spray, Noibat, Alan Grimer, Riolu, Cutiefly, Dupider, Tordinator, and a Persian. It's quite a nice little art on that. It's very bright today as well. Wouldn't have thought so with the rain thrashing down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the <laughs> I'm waiting for the thunder and lightning to hit and then me absolutely cack my pants during a, an opening. Atlanta Killer, Simisir. Dusclops, Inkay, Rolts, Crab Roller, Venipede, Sneasel, Versanigast, and a Bruxix. A Bruxish. Ish, maybe, might not be. <laughs> I suppose we're starting to get more and more news on Ultra Sun and Moon as well. Because we just had uh, the Dusk Lycanroc form revealed. Curlia, Robombi. Potown. So it'll be interesting to see if they do a, a Dawn one as well, or if it's just going to be the three. A Pikachu, a Panseer, a Reverse Chameleon, and a Peria Hollow. Very nice. You can go into the lovely stack. So we're not quite yet halfway down, but we're getting there. Metal Energy, Chameleon, Rhydon, Noctowl, Inkay. Venipede, Sneasel, Alonan Vulpix, Horsey, Sork, and Alonan Radicate. Also, not a hollow. I'm going to try and shuffle this big wad of cards further up and start to do more and more piles as we get further down the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we've got Fairy Energy. Right on, Kiawe, Olivia, Rhyhorn, Sandy Ghast, Hoot Hoot, Tangler, Dupider, Reverse Hoot Hoot, and Shinotic. Something actually I didn't mention with the Kiawe last time was that I was going, oh yeah, use him, that'll be really good with the Charizard. Now will be good, but I forgot to mention or even really read the card properly because you do have to end your turn when you use that. So you attach the four energies, but... Um, uh, so I'm going to just try and quickly... Let's see if I can sort the lighting out a bit. Is that a bit better? That looks a bit better. There's still light pouring in, but yeah, no, absolutely. Kiawe, Olivia, Buffalon. Yeah, so Kiawe ends your turn. So it could be useful early on to set up, but you don't really want to be just wasting turns towards the end. Wimpod versus Toxicroak and Noivern Fuller. Oh yeah, that is good. I do like the Noivern. I think I have two of those from the other box. Fairly sure. So he's going to go into a sleeve. So it could be quite possible, quite possibly, that I have a Noivern deck going. But that's a lovely looking card. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to see about if I can find the other ones now. I'm going to quickly deviate into my goodie box. Yep. <laughs> Another full art one as well, actually. So so I have one regular and two full arts. Lovely. Okay. Back to the box. The most important part. So, yep, that's right. Do it. Okay. Dark Energy. Whirlipede. Seedra. Lunatone. Tynamo. Cabrawla. Sandy Ghast. Caterpie. Ladybug. Reverse Wimpod and a Lowland Ninetales. So he's going to be this fella. He's going to be quite the uh, monster stopper for upcoming say cards. Can't be hurt by GX or EX Pokemon. So no effects. Not even so damage, but no effects at all 
will be affecting with the loan of the nine tails. Um, so really, you either one way to get around it is obviously don't fully evolve maybe certain Pokemon if they're still strong enough. Uh, some people are, I think, using like Oranguru to help fight. Um, there are ways around, but yeah, if you're running only GXs or EXs, you're a little bit screwed there. Metapod, Porygon too, Oddish, Duskull, Dabskull, Morlow, Caterpie, Meryl, Reverse Porygon too, and Charizard GX. Hell yeah, another one of these. 300 damage, that's just absolutely just monstrous. I'm fairly sure I said that last time as well. But yeah, incredible. Okay, next pack. Guzma, Electric, Wobbuffet, Sneasel, Alolan Volpix, Horsey, Noibat, Alolan Grima, Alolan Rotata in reverse, and Electrovire. Okay. This deck's starting to get pretty big. In fact, I'm going to pop that one onto there. And there's one last pack and go on there as well. And then we have two complete sides to the pile. One, two, three, four. Fire Energy, Rotom Dex, Simipaw, Electabuzz, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Ralts, Tangler, Molo, and a Hollow Polysand. That's quite nice. There's a really nice rainbow effect coming up behind him. Going into the, the good pile. So that's halfway down. I'm already doing pretty good. I would say. I just realised as well that I've, I've moved my escape rope out of the good pile. So yeah. That's the good pile there. And moving on to halfway now. So let's keep going. And see what cards we can get. Hopefully something extra incredible. Here we go. Second half. Let's see what you've got for us. One, two, three, four. Electric energy. Plumeria. Super scoop up. Guzma. Rhyhorn. Ralts. Tangler. Tynamo. Inke. Reverse Tangrowth. And a Vile Bloom Hollow. It's a nice little. Uh, rainbow effect there as well. Once you to Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack, so that could kind of shut down certain basic GXs or something if they've got no means to uh, uh, switch out at all. Energy, Guzma, Whirlipede, Simisage, Alolan Grimer, Sneasel, Charmander, Crab Brawler, Meowth. Reverse Polisand, that's good for a rare. Is it rare, isn't it? Yeah. And beware. Okay. Not too shabby. It's always nice when you pull a uh, a rare in the reverse hollow slot. So you get double the goodness. Wick. Wobbuffet. Weedra. Wing K. Waffle. Webwaller. Warlow. Wandy Gast. We wear and <laughs> whack I don't know why I did that for that. I suppose we had the Wick Wolver fit combo. Wheelie wheelie. <laughs> Energy. Olivia. Curlia. Robombi. Yep. <laughs> Morlo. Charmander. Porygon. Meryl. Hutu. Electabuzz. And. Crabob Abominable Wall. You know that guy. Whenever I see Robombi, I always do want to say Robombulus for some reason. I think for whenever... Because I think I used a Robombi as well at some point in the games. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say uh, Robombulus every time Every time you went out into battle. Robombulus. <laughs> Survivor, Mudbray. Ladybug. Hoot Toot. Alone on Vulpix. Ralts. 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 <laughs> Genotic. And that's always quite funny when you pull two in the exact same line or oh, when you get like I say uh, the evolution straight after that's quite always quite nice Cedra, Lumeria, Lunatone, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Cutiefly, Tynamo, Duskull, 
Rush Bruxish and Noifern DX. All right, so I have a Noifern deck coming, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if I've got, I mean, I've got four, so I can definitely use him for something with the four anyway. So that's quite good. <laughs> well, I did actually sit and think, who do I want to like look at? Find a different little uh, Pokemon to potentially make a deck out of. And I did like Noivern. I have made a, a Comma OGX deck as well, so I think it was more so because I had the uh, double dragon energy. But I'm not too sure if that's getting rotated out. I know I say about standard and all that stuff, but it's obviously coming from anything. I think it's Roaring Skies. Roaring Skies is gone, but Breakthrough or Breakpoint, one of them is. It's going to be like legal on. I mean, there are lists. I'll I'll put a thing up probably saying which one it is. Esper, Pansir, and a Passimian. Yeah, so I don't know if double dragon energy is going to get rotated out. So otherwise, I would have to put in uh, dark and psychic energy for that deck, or whether or not I can just double dragon and maybe one of the colors and maybe work a deck around that. Sandy Ghost, Benipede, Horsey, Resonotone, and Electrify. Okay. Yeah, so say like I could have the Double Dragon, so that could be the maybe the Dark, and I could then work into a uh, a Psychic deck, but use Noivern as kind of like one of the big bulky attackers. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I'll look into it, see what I can find out, because I think it'd be quite fun. Although I don't know with its Fairy Weakness sitting there. Not bad, very nice. Do you put a, I'll probably go through all these and find over and oh, Lycanroc. Day form. I do like that Lycanroc. I preferred the day Lycanroc to the midnight form. I still prefer day out of the three. But the Dusks one's pretty cute. It's just it's literally just a mix of the other two. And orange. Seems what like bodybuilding dumbbells. Uh, so the Pansir, Magikarp. And Rattata, Wimpod, Togedomaru, Reverse Viper, Azumarill. I was getting a bit messy. Come on, Macrosma. You can give me a good, good pack. Give me a good pack. Give me something incredible. What's that? You are going to give me something incredible. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just make sure it's something that's going to make me flip my wig. Don't worry, guys. I, I do have my own hair. I don't actually have a wig. Wick, though, on the other hand. Hey, Darkrai Hollow. Not quite the Darkrai that I think everyone's going to be wanting, but still very good. Ha, huh. okay, I'm just looking at that. That could be maybe used within a Noivern deck. Could use Dark, fill it in. Use the other as a... Yeah, Dark Energies and the Double Dragon. Not Double Dragon, the fighting game. I mean, I was always good at that. I, I always liked it. Played with my brother. Not very good, though, was it? I'll be honest. <laughs> Man Sage, Meryl, Ledian, and ho -O GX. All right. Now, see, that's quite good. So, uh, like a turn off flame, you can put a combination of three fire, GX or EX, from this card pile onto your bench. Very nice, very nice card, very nice looking. Well, I suppose the set did ask the question, have we seen the Battle Rainbow? Well, now we certainly have. Fantastic. Lovely ho-ho. When I grew up, I was growing up, I had uh, Pokemon Silver and Crystal. But for, what, uh, for as a kid, like I say, even though it was Silver, it was the one I had, and obviously then the mascot... Uh, bird was Lugia. I did prefer Ho Ho, that giant phoenix. Saw him through the sky. I suppose it's probably in fact because of not Electros, but probably because of the the anime showing off the Ho Ho in one of the first episodes, if not the first, I think. Just that intrigue. I remember kids thinking, "Yeah, that's just a Fero that you saw." No, that's not. It was Ho Ho. Noiba. Dupoina, Tangler, Rhyhorn, Riolu, 
Metapod and Heracross, regular. Good old Heracross. Yeah, always like Ho Ho, going back to that. Two, four. CBC. Karma. Octopus. Mudbray. I don't know. Fanpaw. Caterpie. Porygon. Let's try. Butterfree. Oh, that is Butterfree. Okay. That's it. Whoops. Yeah, see, it still gets me where it says bye bye heel. That's definite. That's, that has to be a reference to the old bye bye Butterfree episode. Oh, I cried. I cried every time I saw it. No, actually, I don't think I cried on that episode of the anime. Speaking of the anime, I might as well. Um, I, the one that always seemed to got me was good uh, Pikachu's Goodbye. With that one song. I'm not going to sing it because I'll cry. <laughs> Electric Sneasel. Charmander. Grand <laughs> Ruler. Meowth. Stuffle. Reverse Cutie Fly. And... Colossal GX. Alright. Very good. Very, very good. This is also going to be one of the, uh, I think, because there are a couple of different decks that are appearing from some of these cards. And I think this one can be quite a good one. I think I even say it like in the, uh, I think it's like the Elite Trainer box. They've mentioned a load of interesting decks, like because of its first impression attack, you can kind of jump between, say, if you've got two set up, um, you can be doing 120 damage each turn. Quite a good card. It's good. Got good hit points for stage one basic. Uh, stage one basic. Stage one GX. So yeah, there's a lot of good things. Grass energy, tormenting spray, Lana, heat more, Charmander. Oh, I just realised it's raining in Charmander's picture. It's raining outside. Still quite heavily. Meryl, Fan Sage, Esper, Pikachu, Reverse Try, and Scalopede. Okay. Well, it's one more. We've got one more to go. And it will hopefully be a corker. So we have Water Energy, Simiseer, Metapod, Dusclops, Wimpod, Krogunk, Togodomaru, Panseer, Magikarp, Lady Bar Reverse, and Machamp GX Bullar. Look at that. Buff boy. <laughs> That's quite a nice looking card. Did I get one on the first episode? I think I had the first episode, the first box. Fairly sure I did. So I can... Where um just looking at the front, where it's got a uh... come on focus on him. Yeah, where it's got cross cut just here, it looks like this the the P on his belt. It's part of the like the move, so it's cross cut P, but it's not. Now that's another uh, fantastic card there. Oh, stop throwing it around! Wow, they they certainly do get slippy when you put them into sleeves. So we got a couple nice hollows. So let me just shuffle them forward. Yes, yeah, so we got some nice hollows. Dark rope, dark rope, polysand, Riperia. Diancy, all very nice, very pretty cards. Lovely. But yeah, like I say, going in, I suppose, in reverse order. Oh, hang on, and we got a bile plume as well. Never mind. <laughs> like the Machamp, excellent. Glissipod, great. Ho, oh, fantastic. <laughs> the two Neuverns, quite funny. Another Charizard, so that can go into the, the nice pile there. But yeah, the two Neuverns, I'll probably do something with maybe, perhaps. The Golden Escape Rope, though. That's nice. That's very good. Fantastic. So I'm going to pop him in there. And all his buddies can sit in there as well. Lovely. There we have it for today's box. Another incredible one, I would say. Some great GXs. Lovely hollows. All very well and good. After these two boxes, I'm probably not far off of completing... Uh, well, completing most of Burning Shadows. And I might try and finish it off. Some of those full arts might be a little bit uh, harder to <laughs> harder to find. Some of the rainbow rares. I'm not, I'm not buying a box for every single one. <laughs> no way. Um, but I suppose that's, that can lead into a nice question for you watching, for those watching. Are you collecting any of Burning Shadows? Are you collecting particular cards? Um, 
let me know. It'd be nice to hear. But anyway, I've been Andy of Bill's Lighthouse. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.